Ever wonder what it's like to work in the hectic news industry? Are you looking for an entertaining read with a serious subject? Well, California Life is happy to welcome author and former television reporter Holly K. Meyer. She joins us today to discuss anxiety disorders and her upcoming book, Could Have Been Hollywood. Thank you so much for coming on our show, Holly. Thank you for having me. And I just love that you wrote this memoir, but I have to tell you, obviously we worked together in Palm Springs yes, um, so much several fun. years ago. <laughs> and when you told me you wrote a book about the industry and that I was in it, I have to say, I instantly thought, oh my goodness, what does that mean? You know, what did she write? How did you come to write this book? I actually came to write this book because I was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder about a year ago and it had gone undiagnosed for 20 years. So I was wondering, how did I go this long and not figure it out on my own? So I just started writing for myself. And the more I wrote, the more I realized I have a lot of unusual stories here to tell. So I'm gonna keep writing. You do, and one of them, the title, I didn't even know. I mean, I love the title, could have been Hollywood, and that stems back to your parents. That stems back to my parents, yes. My dad wanted my middle name to be Wood. He thought it would be interesting, it would give me an edge. My mother said, no way, it was too unusual. So they went with Holly Kristen, but I could have been Hollywood. You have so many great tales of the industry and anybody that's worked in it or wanted to work in it, but it really did have a serious meaning behind everything. Yes, yes, no, I went into this business because I had grown up in such a wacky world where my dad was teaching me how to grow marijuana in our suburban <laughs> garage when I was only five years old. All sorts of family drama from there. I had my first anxiety attack when I was 13. And so I imagine that becoming this sophisticated, smart, polished television reporter would be the ultimate camouflage. Every night, I put on that polished face and I look like I was normal and okay. And so I really enjoyed that. I think, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I have anxiety. And, and I know the statistics are very high. You yes. know, but what is the difference from somebody just saying, I have anxiety and an anxiety disorder? For me, I would say that if you have a disorder, it's chronic. You know, it's overwhelming, it's persistent, and a lot of times it's gonna center around the most everyday things. So it's normal to be stressed out if you're going on your first date, you have a job interview, but when you're making yourself sick over a small change in your routine, mm -hmm. then you might wanna start to think maybe this is something else. And finally, you did make the decision to not be Hollywood. Yes. And, and how did you do that? Well, I felt like towards the end of my career, I had a choice to make, I could either pursue this career that gave the illusion of sanity, or I could chase after something bigger than that, something that really made me feel calm and good on the inside. I love some of the stories that you have about working in news. We all have them, but you have a pretty interesting one. So I got up to Medford, Oregon, and I wanted to prove myself as a serious reporter to everybody. So I requested this murder-suicide story. They said, sure, you know, it's the weekend, low crew, no problem, I'll go out on my own. I tracked down the son of the murder-suicide victim at the family home. He invited me into their house so I could interview him. He excused himself for a moment, and when he came back, he was buck naked. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> So that was a crazy story. What do you want to tell people out there that might be watching that think, you know what, I think I might have an anxiety disorder. I mean, what can you tell people that think they might be suffering from this as well? My best advice would be to get a really good shrink. Anxiety disorder is something that is completely treatable. You're not alone. There is 40 million American adults in the United States that suffer from some sort of anxiety disorder. For somebody out there that you know wants to maybe get the book, obviously you know they can get the book, but are you gonna be doing like an ongoing blog with your website or a way to just kind of connect with people? Definitely, I've started a website. It's couldhavebeenhollywood.com and I do, I blog regularly. There's excerpts on the um, website as well as links to more excerpts on scrib.com and then I Twitter, of course. So yeah, lots of different ways to get to know the book now and then I will be updating as it becomes available. Well, congratulations. I mean, so successful, just to finish a book in general. So thank, thank you so you. much, Holly. Always a pleasure to see you. Thanks, you too.